So I'm always trying to understand the psychology of meat eaters and I encourage other vegans to do the same so we can better communicate the message and be more effective activists and inspire change. But we know pretty well how meat eaters think given they take up 98% of the population and pretty much every last vegan was once in that mindset as well. So could we just try for the next few minutes just to see the world through vegan eyes? This is not a sob story, I'm not trying to get people to feel sorry for vegans. I'm not even asking you to agree with us necessarily, I'm just asking you to see the world how we do just for a moment. I want to do a little thought experiment. So imagine that you're going to a friend's place for dinner. Imagine the host preparing a roast dog. You sit at the table watching others carve up its, its body. You watch people eating, say, a dog leg or a dog rib, you know, over some drinks and just chatting merrily. How would you feel about the scene? Is it upsetting? How do you feel about the people participating in this? Your family and friends? Do you think differently of them? Please know that this is how vegans feel about all animals killed for us. We view all sentient beings as being equally deserving of life. We make no distinctions between the value of animals based on their species. In our minds, all animals are off limits given they all think and feel and have a desire to live just like we do. We have unlearned the arbitrary distinctions and force on us by society that categorise animals into which animals we love and which animals we kill. I guess this seems pretty straightforward in theory, given we know that we can't help the body or circumstances we are born into. Species like race, gender, disability are morally irrelevant criteria. When we're talking about the capacity to suffer, it doesn't recognise things like species and race and gender. It's universal. Now, people might understand that in theory, but the problem is that people are, most people are looking at the end product, vegans are looking at the process. And once you've seen the process, it's not an easy thing to unsee, it's not an easy epiphany to unthink. We can't see bacon without seeing a pig that was killed for it. We can't see cheese without thinking of a calf who was ripped away from its mother and killed. We can't see a fur coat without wincing about the animal whose back it was torn off. Just because we don't personally know these animals doesn't make their value any less in our eyes. Yet we have to see the dead body parts of animals that we care about displayed everywhere. The abuse of other species that we find so disgusting is advertised, displayed, promoted, and disguised in humour, fun, health, and human advancement. A supermarket never looks the same. Anywhere that sells animal products become very dark places. Dinner parties and events where people are going to be consuming animals become a cause of anxiety and sadness. We're basically constantly mourning for the suffering and death of those creatures that others see as a mere resource, a meal, a personal choice. How do you feel about those tourists who took a selfie with the baby dolphin and left it to die on the beach? What about that dentist that killed Cecil the lion? That's a fraction of the rage that vegans feel for every animal killed. But we're constantly told that we're not allowed to be feeling that and we have no right to be feeling what we do. So another thought experiment. Imagine that you were born into the body of a dolphin. You lived freely in the ocean with your family and one day you were taken out of the water and you were just carelessly left on the beach to die. Now imagine you were born into the body of a pig and into the life on a factory farm where you were killed at a fraction of your natural lifespan. Nobody knew who you were, nobody cared when you were killed. From the victim's perspective, the loss of life is the same. I think that's what's missing. And that's what matters. Each individual, whether free living or in a factory farm, valued their life just as we value ours. So one was endangered and one was bred to be killed. Who made that so? Humans. The reason some animals are endangered is because of human activity and their capacity to suffer does not decrease if their endangered status does. Incidentally though, the leading cause of species extinction is animal agriculture, you know, clearing land, destroying habitats so we can feed livestock, so we can kill those, those livestock and eat them. So if you genuinely cared about endangered species, you wouldn't be eating meat. Anyway, the point is whether an animal is endangered or if they're bred to be killed, their capacity to value their life remains the same. So again, please know that any feelings you have about isolated incidences of animal cruelty, such as killing a dolphin for a selfie or killing a lion for a trophy, this is how vegans feel about every single animal killed unnecessarily for food, clothing, entertainment, or any other purpose. All are unnecessary. Some are just more systematic than others. But here's the tricky thing. The perpetrators, the killers, the oppressors are all around us. They're our family, they're our friends, and we have to be patient and understanding with them while they hurt those that we are trying to protect, often in front of us. Every time people put down money so casually, it's really hard to watch that inside because we know what that money is funding. We know that that's putting down the demand for unspeakable cruelty that no one would be okay with if it was in front of them, or very few people would be okay with it. And it doesn't stop there. 
we watched environmentalists eating meat, which is the leading cause of global warming and environmental destruction. We see feminists eating eggs and dairy, which is literally the products of exploited female reproductive systems. We hear spiritual and religious people preaching about kindness and peace, while they consume the products of torture and death of the most vulnerable and innocent beings on earth. We watch pioneers for social justice campaigning for equal rights, while they deny rights to billions of animals merely for the species they are born into. We witness self-proclaimed animal lovers putting down money every day for every form of animal abuse imaginable, and then consume body parts of the animals they claim to love. I'm always trying to find the empathy and understanding for meat eaters and justify their actions by a lack of knowledge or being very heavily conditioned. So you, before you dismiss vegans as extremists or annoying or preachy, remember how we see the world and try to have some empathy for us. Try to have some empathy for the animals. So the question is, are we brainwashed or are you? Why can't you see what we see?